So, hi everybody. Normally I begin these remarks with a joke about data science, but about half the stuff my staff came up with was below average. But as all of you know, understanding and innovating with data has the potential to change the way we do almost anything for the better. That's why my administration's opened up massive amounts of government data to the public for the first time, with more than 135,000 data sets available for download at data.gov. Think about the weather and map apps we check every day on our phones, many of which are powered by open government data, along with countless other apps and services. Or our new precision medicine, which joins data science and healthcare to accelerate treatments for disease. We want more Americans to dream up and deploy innovations like this, to solve problems, save lives, and create new jobs and opportunities. That's why I'm so pleased to welcome Dr. DJ Patel as the federal government's first chief data scientist. And that's why I'm asking you to help. As DJ likes to say, data science is a team sport. That's why we want you, America's data scientists, to join us in this effort. Help us build better digital services for the American people. Help us unleash new innovation in areas like healthcare and climate change. Help us change this country and this world for the better. Thanks. So that happened to me on February 25th, 2015. And it started as an incredible adventure. I got to meet people from all sorts of walks of life, just unbelievable people that taught me so many different things. Got to experience the world in a totally new way. Got to see the world when we celebrated Diwali for the very first time in the Oval Office. Got to help people learn how to interact with the communities in different ways by getting people to talk to each other, but normally on the opposite sides of a fight or a conversation, like in policing or Ferguson. I got to meet incredible young people like Tilly, who's holding on to my White House notebook there with a robotic arm. Or people who come from all different walks of, walks of life with a single purpose, to just make their communities better. But in that job, I learned how to laugh every day and cry every day and just have a whole different approach. What's fascinating about this, and fascinating about this stage overall, is that 30 years ago, in a few months, was the first time that I ever walked into this auditorium. I walked in here as a freshman at Mount Vista, trying to figure out where the bathrooms were, <laughs> trying to figure out where the classes were. And it wasn't a really good start. See, just a few weeks, actually, just before that happened, I had my first run-in with the police where I had been read my rights. On October 31st of that first semester here at Monta Vista, I got suspended for throwing a stink bomb in my English class just on the second floor of that building, just about 500 feet from here. <laughs> a couple months later, I got kicked out of my algebra class wasn't off to exactly the best kind of start. <laughs> Didn't go so great after that as well. You know those thick envelopes that you used to get for the admissions that we talked about? <laughs> I got all the thin ones. <laughs> In fact, the last time I stood on this stage, literally right about here, wasn't clear I was going to graduate from this school. But luckily, I actually had an administrator in the main office, and she kind of realized that I actually had something more going. And so she actually changed one of my grades so I could pass. And so I did like what many people who are out here and don't quite sure what to do or don't have the quite avenue. I went down the street to De Anza Junior College. And where I realized one of my biggest obstacles was math. I didn't really have anything to know how to treat it, how to think about it. Why should I care? But I also had another thing that was really important as I signed up for classes at De Anza. I had a girlfriend. She signed up for this class called Calculus. <laughs> so I signed up for Calculus. <laughs> and I went in there and I looked at these things and these funny squiggles and I was like, what the heck is it? Why does everything end with DX? <laughs> oh, and don't forget the constant. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Right? So I was, I was just so 